glute bridge hold is an isometric lower body exercise where we're going to hold tension on our glutes which is our backside uh, for a period of time um, to create tension so we're going to lie down to the ground you're going to bring your heels right in towards your bum lie on the ground hands on the ground from here you're going to push your knees up and out towards the opposite walls and your hips come up towards the roof so it's up out and hold the top position really pushing the knees out to create tension so the shoulder from the front Lay down, heels in, hands on the ground, up and out, and hold this position and keep pushing the knees out to create tension along the side of the glute. And that's your T reps is an upper back exercise created to um, hold tension up on our traps and our scapula area. So we're going to start off with our chest to the ground. We're going to make a capital T like the letter T out of our body. So arms push right out and our, our legs are back straight. So from here, we're going to pull our scaps together, which is going to raise our arms up. Everything else stays put, just up and down. We don't bring our hands to the ground, we keep them a couple of inches off the ground throughout. So up, down, up, down for the time specified. And that's a T rep. A prisoner squat is a simple squat variation where we're going to keep our hands out, as if we're handcuffed. From here, we're going to sit down in the squat position and then drive back up. So feet outside the hips, right, toes slightly pointed out, arms out, squat down and drive up. And that's your prisoner squat. Shoulder taps is an upper body movement. We're going to incorporate our core a small bit in as well. Our starting position is a push-up position. Our hands are right under our shoulders and our feet are back. From here, you're going to really like squeeze your hips so you hold your core and hip flexors in place. And what you're going to do then is with as little hip movement as possible is tap each shoulder nice and controlled. So alternate between taps and try to keep the hips uh, as tight as possible. A little tip for these is to split the feet a small bit and that will help to keep your hips nice and solid. So from here, squeeze up everything, nice controlled, shoulder tap, keep the hips nice and down and solid. And it's a great way to work alternating arms and core. And that's your shoulder tap. drops are a nice lower body plyometric exercise, so they're explosive in their nature. And we want to work nice and quick through these and really get that spring in our lower body. So feet start together. From here, you're going to jump out, and sit down, then spring up off the toe, back in and out. So from the side, start with your feet together, jump out, sit down, spring back up and down. And that's your squat drop. Work nice and quick to really get the heart and uh, lungs working. valuable exercise when you're boxing. It's great for keeping up on your toes and moving your weight nice and quick off your feet. Um, so grab a skipping rope. Um, for skipping you want to start skipping two feet and then ideally you want to be able to start shifting your weight two hops either side so just left and right just constantly moving between them. So this gets your feet used to just popping off nice and quick and shifting your weight to left and right. If you struggle with skipping and the rope keeps catching your feet. You are improving fitness. Start swinging the rope to the side and then just get your timing with the rope so that it gets you into the rhythm of using the skip rope and then when you start progressing you can keep practicing with your feet until you get better and it's not hitting you as much and um, it just gets you into the routine of popping off your feet nice and quick so that's how we use the skip and rope to get better on our feet in boxing Eight count bodybuilders are a full body burpee variation. It can be quite difficult, but um, do your best to get them done and there's a couple of regressions you can do to make them a little bit easier. Our starting position is going to be feet outside the hips. And we're going to work through eight counts of movement. So the first count is hands down, this is one. Feet jump back together is two. They jump out, which is three. Back in is four. Then you're going to do a push up. Down is five, push up is six. You're going to jump back up, plant your feet is seven, pull the hips through is eight. So there are your eight counts. I'm doing it from the side. So start out, feet outside the hips. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And with the push up, you can pop to your knees and do the push up from your knees if you need to during the movement. And if you're at a stage where you can step up and down into the movement, then please do. And that's an eight count body movement. Mountain climbers are a great dynamic exercise for our core and our hip flexors. So our starting position is going to be down, on the ground, hands are in underneath our shoulders so we have a nice solid position to move from. 
From here, you're going to bring a knee to your same elbow on both sides. So bring it up and back, and that's a slow amount of climber. You can also work nice and fast to get the heart and lungs working. So hands in under the shoulders, knee to same elbow, moving from the hip flexor, or you can go fast on these and really work. So you get our heart and lungs incorporated into both the core and hip flexor exercise. That's Squat jumps are a lower body plyometric exercise, so they're explosive in their nature. This is really going to get the heart and lungs working and you really feel it in your legs. Start position our feet are outside your hips. From here, you're going to take a small bend and you're going to jump and then sit right down and jump again. You want to land on the heel with a soft knee so your hips are able to go straight down rather than landing with a stiff leg and getting impact on the knees. So from the side, feet are outside the hips. We're going to take that little bend, jump, back down, jump, back down. So you want to work through those as nice and quick as possible, keeping your feet in the same position, focus on landing on the heel with a soft knee, allowing you to sit straight down and explode back up. And that's the squat. lunges are a quad dominant squat variation where we're going to lunge out with one foot, out, keep our knee over our ankle, sit down with the back leg and step back up. On the other side, out, keep your knee over your ankle, back knee down, squat back up, keeping our torso upright throughout. From the side, we're going to lunge out, down, squat back up, out, down and back up. And this is our lunge alternate. Jumping jacks are one of our more common cardiovascular exercises. This is really designed to get the heart rate up and going in a nice simple movement pattern, working both the upper and lower body. Our starting position, feet together, hands down by the side. From here, jump out and hands up and then back in. That's your movement. So you can go in a slow movement just to keep moving or you can work jumping jacks really fast if you want as well. So that's the jumping jack.